never skip leg day. This is like a bunch of leg working out. y'all early morning we are on our way to our friend's house to help them do chicken butchering today for their first time it's very exciting mm. all right don't lose the trailer no it was more of taking out that tractor tire that's sitting right there <laughs> okay don't do that either All right, we have made it back. It is the end of the day. We're all a little tired, but that wasn't bad. That was only uh, 29 birds. Yeah. So it was pretty good. We are having leftover, leftover, leftover <laughs> chili. Not that many leftovers. Okay, leftover, leftover. Like, yeah, something like that. We had a good time. Uh, our friends, Josh and Rachel, that was their first yeah. time processing. I think we've done it enough now to where... Down. Down. Oh, down? Okay, bye. I think we, uh, we've gotten to the point where we, we know enough now. We've done it enough times to where we feel pretty comfortable doing it and showing others how, showing to, do others how to do it. Uh, we've shown a few people how to do it. It's actually kind of cool. This is one of those things, maybe in the future, not this batch that's out there in the yard, no. but maybe in the future we might 
talk about doing a class. We'll see if there's interest in that. I know there's people out there that would love to learn. Uh, it's a great skill to have. It's one of those, you know, if you ever needed it, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Yep. Uh, plus, it's kind of a forgotten skill. There's just not a whole lot of people that process their own animals anymore. It's a good day. I'm happy. I'm happy to be home, back in our own space. Yes. But that was fun. So I'm gonna go out right now. I gotta water the pigs, or as Meg said, that's how you make them grow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You gotta uh, water the pigs. It's been a pretty warm day today. I think it got up into the 80s. So. Of course, the pigs ran out of water while we were gone. Yeah. So I'm gonna go drag a hose. All right, looks like I get to haul hoses from all the way over here to all the way over there. Never skip leg day. This is like a bunch of leg working out. Very soon, I think I'm going to put in water lines because this is a workout. Oh, that's why they're out of water. Look what I just found on the ground. Ah. Uh. That's why they're out of water. I was gonna say that was awful fast. I don't think it's broken. Gosh, guys. You sabotaged your waterer. <laughs> There's enough water for everybody. Relax. You're welcome. I'm sorry you ran out while we were gone. I always do this. Like, I need to move them, you know, over yonder. Kind of the direction the house is moving. I need to move them. And always what ends up happening is they either run out of water or I have to fill the water back up. Uh, about the same time, like, I'll probably get out here tomorrow and be like, yep, today's the day. And I'll have to dump out the water and drag the hose back over here. I would move them right now, but they aren't really hungry right now. Uh, and it's very easy to move pigs when they are starving. So, like, first thing in the morning, they're just, they're so ravenous, they're just going to die if they don't get food. Not really, but hungry pig. Very easy to get them to follow a bucket when, uh, their tummy is leading them. So something I'm noticing out here, it might be too early to tell, but I'm thinking her belly looks a little bit lower than it normally does. Same with this one. Her belly looks a little lower. Here's hoping, here's hoping Mo did his job. Did you do your job? I'm hoping that these two are actually bred. Let's see, that would have been the 13th of March that we put them, put him in here with them, uh, which would put us in like July for farrowing, which that would be ideal, nice and warm. All right, looks like the water's full. Now I get to drag these hoses back to the cow. All right, that was quite a leg workout hauling those hoses everywhere. My legs are like kind of shaking a little bit and I'm like dripping sweat now. And it's starting to sprinkle. Never skip leg day. <laughs> Never skip, we don't skip leg day here. <laughs> Got her dominoes. Who would have thought that random dominoes would be the best toy in the world? Kids, man. All right, so as we have left, left, leftovers, I think we're gonna end it right there. So we'll pick it back up in the morning and we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.